Hello, I'm Ian Rawson from Nevocentrics, and today we're going to be working with PSI 211 Silver Screen Printing. This is uh, one of our metal awnings, and it's intended for screen printing, which if you're not familiar with screen printing, is based off of um, a metal screen in which you make the image and the emulsion, you can see it there, and that allows the ink to pass through to make an image. So we're going to print on a couple of different substrates. Um, and this ink is good for polyester, polycarbonate, a lot of different plastics, which would be uh, non-porous and probably flexible like that, or papers, which might be somewhat porous. This is actually a label paper, a lot like what you'd have on glass bottles for drinks and things like that. Right? Okay, so the whole idea is that we start with a blank sheet of plastic, which is an insulator, we place it down, and then hopefully we print and then cure a conductive ink to make some kind of device. So today we're just going to focus on printing with the ink and what it's going to be like to print it, cure it, and then get properties like conductivity, is it going to pass a tape test, things like that. Okay, so the ink as you should receive it is going to look black. Well that's because it's nanoparticles. They're really small, fine nanoparticles in a solution. It should be kind of loose and, vi and viscous moving around. And what you're going to do is draw a bead of it on the screen like that and then you're going to take your squeegee and you can just push the bead. So this is called flood. Right? You flood the ink so that it covers the entire image nice and smooth. Okay. You have your substrate there. A vacuum table is helpful to keep it nice and flat. Finish the probe and go ahead and just reflood for the next one. That'll keep it from drying out. And then hopefully you should have a nice print. Okay, so what we've printed here is a test pattern that we use quite a bit. Um, this is a, a pattern where the line goes back and forth, and the pattern is approximately a thousand times as long as it is wide, and that's referred to as squares. So in printed electronics, you have a certain amount of resistance over a certain path length. So you put those two numbers together and you get sheet resistance. Well, that will help you predict what will the results of printing different geometric shapes, what will the electrical properties be. So we'll just do it again, same idea, on paper. Turn on the vacuum tape. Remember to reflood before the next one. And then again, here, nice contrast there on the white. So right now it's wet. You know, you can't really stack them on top of each other. You gotta leave them separated. But what's going to happen is it's going to begin to kind of dry in room condition. So from this point, we're going to think about how we're going to cure it. And so next part of the, of the video, we're going to catch up. We're going to show you how to cure it if you just have an oven. And we're going to do a little section on curing it if you want to use a pulse forge.